This is a 1914 Overland Phaeton and it surprised me to find out that uh, this was the second highest selling car in 1914 made in Toledo, Ohio. Of course Willys eventually uh, was associated with Overland and it became the father of the Jeep. So actually uh, a descendant of this car still lives in the Willys Jeep now made by Chrysler slash Fiat. This is a very deluxe car here. Now this really surprised me. Here are the controls and you usually see them higher up on dashboard but this is almost in the footwell. With clutch and a brake and of course the gas is on the steering wheel nice upholstery typical of the time and you notice of course the steering wheel is to the right which was the typical placement of the uh, steering wheel right hand drive on uh, cars in the brass era this was considered the brass era the teens nice big back seat very big. Two-tone combination, blue and of course black fenders. The gauge to the left is the speedometer. There's a clock down there with a white face. And you can see that steering column is made of brass, so a lot of polishing huge top. You can see how it's supported there with those wooden braces. Like a toolbox there on the side. The paint is really outstanding on this car and uh, the windows are clear. Now you can see there are a couple spares stacked there in the back. The tires back in this day were not all that reliable. 33 by 4. A lot of punctures and the roads were not good generally speaking. So it paid to have uh, a tire available for changing at any point. Notice the crank starter in the front. That's the gear that drives the speedometer there. There's not as much brass on this car as uh, many of these cars had. There you see a sculpture in uh, Lake Mirror. Very different, I'll say that. <laughs> 